everyone, I'm delighted to be joining you for this part five of this series of um, connecting in with your beautiful higher selves, allowing my higher self to connect with yours. I've often called this in the past a mind melding. Um, it's a beautiful fifth dimension ability that I feel everybody has. I've just had a bit more practice of it than some. And it's where we connect on a plateau of love. It's, it's a, um, it's a field of, of unity consciousness. It's a field of expansive awareness. It's a field of all potentialities possible. And basically what happens is, as I open my mind and my heart and become fully available and of service for your higher self to let me know what it is that kind of it wants to communicate with you um, as the most important thing for you to focus on at this moment in time. And the previous four that we've put up on YouTube this week um, it's showing how unique, wonderful and beautiful every single human being is. Um, but it's also being absolutely and totally honest about where we're at, whether we're deep in trials and tribulations or high on life or whatever it happens to be and everything in between. And what these messages are, are attempts to assist you in raising your vibration so you can make the most out of life. You know, the archangels are always saying to me, you know, um, we understand, or they obviously understand and want to help and assist. So do call them in as and when. Um, but they are getting more delighted in the fact that more of humanity is waking up and remembering their true divine soul purpose and the fact that life can be a lot better, richer in quality than it is or has been. Okay, so um, as always on this series, I'm pulling cards from our Diana Cooper, Archangel Animal Cards. And I think we did this one a couple of days ago. So I'm just going to read the guidance of it. But it's the camel and it's about being forbearing and patient. OK, and it says you are blessed to receive this card of wisdom. It suggests you hold golden wisdom in your divine blueprint and that in your life plan you have con contracted to share this with humanity. This path calls on you to practice patience, forbearance and humility. You may feel ahead of your time. Many will sense the light you carry and will react to it in different ways so you will need to stay in balance whatever is happening around you. If you do not fully recognize who you are, your guidance is to sit quietly, place a golden sparkling light around yourself and call in Archangel Jephiel, the angel of wisdom, to help you attune to your true self. Then expect the deep knowing held in your soul to start coming forward. If nothing else, isn't that wonderful for today? In fact, it goes really, really well because I've, I've just um, recorded the energy update for April, which will go out on YouTube on Friday. And um, it was quite a lot about new hope and beginnings and uh, wisdom. So, uh, yeah, look that one up if you're interested on Friday. But now we're going to go through straight to Jill C our friend in Florida. Let's see, Jill, what it is that your high self has for you today. Okay, massive message from your high self, really clear. It's a little bit like the end of that message there from the camels about the sparkling light being around you. So it's like um, you deserve, you deserve and don't settle for anything else other than what makes you sparkle. So um, it's like, it's like uh, you've got, you, you feel very busy 
you feel very busy, 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 and your higher self is, is saying, don't settle. You can have it all. You can have everything. Um, allow the sparkles of light that you naturally are to emanate through you, within you, around you, and, and be able to see it. And the practical application of this very straightforward message is to every little thing you do, all the small things. So when you're making your first drink of the morning, when you're when you're attending to anything, add um, a filter of sparkling mild mindfulness to it. <laughs> That's great, Jill. <laughs> so it's like you going around with a load of cosmic fairy dust and it's all around you and it's working well and it's cool, everything's cool, but it could get better. It could be even better by you deciding to alter the way you see things. Okay, so this is actually you adding a dollop load or a sprinkle or a gorgeous bit of, you know, this beautiful fairy dust. Starlight, it's almost a combination of starlight and fairy dust if you look at it that way. And it's sort of like, you know, if you're in and you're thinking, oh, and you're sitting there and you're having your cup of tea and your mind's going all over the place or whatever and you're in this blah, 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 blah mode. It's like, actually, Hang on a minute, stop. Let's take our cup of tea, sprinkle it with some fairy dust. <laughs> take a load of cosmic starlight, dress in that, then have your cup of tea and see what life looks like through that filter. So your higher self is reminding you, you can do this. You know how to do this extraordinarily well. Um, it's just that it feels like you've been in a bit of a period of a sump, if you like. Comparative. This is like comparative. You know, your sump is like somebody else's high. <laughs> Jill, so, so take that into consideration. But it's, it's, uh, it's time to snap out of uh, making do. And actually, you know, uh, wake up to the spiritual connection more in the way of lightening up the fairy dust and the starlight. There's so much more. It's gorgeous! <laughs> okay, so this is the message for Darlene. Let's have a look, Darlene. What it is you wish to talk about. Oh, here we go. Okay, darling, your soul, your higher self, wants you to allow yourself to journey. Allow yourself to adventure. There's a priestess in you that is highly knowledgeable, that has um, beautiful, honourable practices set within your your makeup, set within your cells, within your DNA. And it's like there's an aspect of you that um, everyone else sees and is a norm and is uh, available and open and loving and compassionate and kind. And then there's this other aspect of you that your soul is highlighting that wishes you to journey inside of yourself to get to know more. She's a high priestess. I'm going to use those evocative words for you. You have a deep blue cloak. Um, it's enlaced with gold and silver and some green filigree inside of it. And it has scrolls and all sorts inside of the cloak. The outside of the cloak is, is hooded. It's, it's traditional. It's beautiful. And it moves like silk rather than heavy. It's very light. And um, what you used to use this cloak for in, in past lives and uh, past adventures, I feel like you've got a current soul uh, lifetime at the moment on a different dimension. It's dimension eight, where you really uh, know how to, how to have 
powerful magic that is for the good of the planet and the universe. It's big magic. It's not like little did it, but you can play with that, but it's it's like big magic. It's big stuff. And uh, your higher self is telling you that you've come to the time now in your life and your soul purpose where you're ready. You're really ready to meet that mystical, magical you in a much more profound way than has been previously experienced. The animal kingdom and mother nature is helping you a lot with this. So it's uh, your higher self is is kind of clapping and celebrating and loving the fact that you're getting so much from the animal kingdom and from mother nature and you're seeing beyond that which is normally seen. So your higher self is celebrating that within you too because you're definitely seeing more than is usually seen. And that's enriching your life. It's enriching your existence. It's just like real yummy. But beyond that, it's time to deepen your practice now and go into the priestess that you are. It's kind of like priestess, goddessy, yumminess. Yeah. Okay, if you need any elaboration on that, then you know where to find me. Okay, lots of love. Okay, this is a message for Sean B. Sean, this is for you, darling. <laughs> yeah, your higher self is saying you're so onto the mothering realm. It's like so you and so in you. You really don't have to worry about this stuff. It's like you can do it with your eyes closed. Um, but there's a, a part of you now that wishes to adventure. There's a part of you that needs to, to get get out. <laughs> um, depending where you're living in current times, there's a part you can start to plan it. You can start to plan where you're going to adventure over this summer and autumn. What places of the land are you going to see? So it feels like you need to pack your family up and just go off on some adventures. You really need spontaneity and you really need freedom. And it's like um, at these current times, just breathe into that potentiality, breathe into knowing that that's part of you and that your time will come to be able to do that. But there's nothing stopping you in getting the maps out and deciding, you know, the next kind of adventure and, and time out when it's when it's available that you can just go straight off you don't have to be sitting and thinking oh where should we go what should we do do all of that now use this use this time this gorgeous time to contemplate on that and um, so that when the time comes to enable you to do that you can just go up and off um, so this is as a family unit so so children are very much involved in other family members for you to go and do that sort of thing and it's sort of like you're going to learn about mother nature really and life and experiences and poems and writing all that sort of stuff starting to come up now um, so creation creativity through your child's eyes so I'm seeing you guys um, on the beach and as with all children, they explore sand with eating it, lifting it, getting it in their eyes and everywhere else and, and we're very keen to sort of like sort that out for them. But it's like, it's like the freedom, the freedom that innocence and that uh, exploration of the world. So your higher self is saying, watch the children not the older adults, watch how the children learn, watch how the children actually explore their world because it's a gift to you right now to remind you of, of innocent exploration, of um, the serenity that you are, of the gigantic loving heart that you have and by by watching how children actually explore the world, it reminds you and it gives you permission again to go out there and explore it in just the same way. It's okay to get out there and get real messy <laughs> and have a lot of fun, a lot of fun to it. So this summer and autumn is all about 
um, freedom and it's about journeying and you can start to journey internally now before the external is allowed. Okay, my darling. <laughs> okay, so this one is for Valerie I. Valerie, this is for you. See what your higher self is saying. So your higher self is saying, um, congratulations, you're uh, growing in so many different ways all at the same time. It feels to me like you've got, like if we were in the kitchen and we had lots of pots of different um, tastes and textures and, and uh, colours and smells, it's like your life is full of opportunity now. It's like, look at all the different opportunities. That's what your higher self is saying. There's an opportunity for this, and you're going, blah, 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 and actually delving into that, and there's an opportunity for that, and there's that, and it's like, oh, oh, there's all these opportunities. Which one do I do first? And so your higher self is saying, you can relax. <sighs> you can breathe and you can pick each up at a time and really get the benefit and the most out of that one. And when you've had enough of that for a bit, then pick another one up and do the same with that. Yours is a time of exploring the depth of joy. That's what you need, is to explore the depth of joy. Uh, it's an answer to lots and lots of things going on at the moment, your higher self is saying, and it's to explore the depth of joy. And you know, it doesn't matter if it comes in a little giggle here and there, because you've got a great infectious laughter and the way your mind works. It doesn't matter if it's like um, writing something here or, or, or forming a brew. It's irrelevant, actually, to what it is. It's just attending to that aspect of your heart and your soul that that wants you to really, really savour and enjoy joy for joy's sake. <laughs> okay, Val. Oh, and this one's for Charlie. This is for Charlie I. Okay, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, it's about um, Native American um, First Nation Indian people. Okay, so your soul has been knocking on this door for a little while now, and uh, it's something you've always had an interest in, and um, it's very much... You see, you've lived that sort of life before. You understand it. You understand tribal. You understand belonging. You understand the bigger family. You understand how to feel and think for a bigger group of people and you um, amongst it. So your higher self is saying, really start to honour now what it is you need. So really start to actually ask yourself, what is it that I need today? that helps me with my spiritual connection of gratefulness. Because one of the things that's come up with your research and looking into um, uh, the, the tribal people is, is the, the way they, they make, because um, you were with us on the, the Enchanted Lands when we traveled with the Navajo and the Hopi and throughout Arizona. And, um, you know, you, it was like, it's it's like there's riches, that you have riches within you, deep riches within you, deep-seated, like deep knowledge within you. And you recognised all of those Enchanted Lands things that we did. It wasn't like for the first time. You know that feeling that you get sometimes that actually you haven't been and done that physically in this lifetime? But it's kind of really familiar. So your your higher self is saying, just just have another look there about what is familiar and be and let it enrich your soul because it's already there the knowledge is there the feelings the the wisdom is there and you know how um 
Sacredness is a natural part of their life and that's what your higher self is asking you to bring into yours now. Do something sacred every morning, every morning when you get up. Do something that you consider sacred to your life and to spirit. I'm seeing you with a small drum and just literally tapping the drum out as a heartbeat. And it's like the drum just tapping it gently as a heartbeat. I'm not quite sure if Valerie's going to agree with this, but tapping it out as a heartbeat, just as a heartbeat, actually reminds you of times gone by and it helps to entrain you into a meditative spiritual state where you can connect with your tribal heart that lies deep within you. This gives you the benefits, huge amount of benefits, but it gives you a, a, a benefit of expansive energy, of laughter, of seeing the funny side of stuff and being able to drop into your sacredness much faster than you currently have. That's beautiful. You're beautiful, Charlie. Well done. Lovely. Mwah. Wishing you both well. <laughs> Valerie's going to kill me later for a drum. <laughs> no, she won't. I'm only, I'm only pulling your leg, Val. <laughs> okay. So our next connection is for Susanna B. So Susanna, this is for you. <sighs> right, I've been taken really deep within Mother Earth, very, very quickly right into the centre of Mother Earth. Your higher self really wants you to be mothered. Apparently you're mothering the many and the world and all her children and it's time for you to be mothered by Mother Earth. So she says you can create, I'm not quite sure of what the link is here, but it's like, it's like you can, can, you can create your own trail. I'm seeing almost like a crazy patterned different trails. Um, so you can create your own trail. You don't have to form, follow a format. That's the words, thank you. Uh, you don't have to follow a format. Why don't you take a piece of paper and just, just scoodle and doodle and, and <laughs> play and make a mess on the paper, but allow it to come from your higher self. So if you can actually raise your vibration, do some meditation, get yourself in a beautiful, connected, loving space and then you take the paper and allow your hands to move with the energetic um, trail and if you start with the intention of show me my trail of life, show me my pathway, show me my pathway and trail of life and you can draw that out on a piece of paper and then it's literally Earth Mother saying put that down on the earth. She's quite, you know, firm with you at the moment, put that down on the earth and you have a meditative walk, a meditative walk on that trail that your higher self has created. No other trail, nothing else that's been before, after or since or, or anything else. It's like create your own, walk that on the land barefoot. You need to get out barefoot on the earth and allow Mother Earth to mother you. You're not allowing Mother Earth to mother you, she's trying to get in. She's trying to get in and she's saying, let's break out from the structures. Let's break out from, from everything. Because she says you're, you're a breakout person anyway. You know, you follow your own heart, your own dreams, your own intuitive guidance massively. But she wishes you to draw your own map of your trail of life, put it on the earth, walk it, skip it, jump on it, have fun with it. And by doing that, you acknowledge your own unique connection with Mum Earth and she'll be able to bring up through that trail and that meditative walk, she'll be able to surround you in so much energy, you're not going to know what to do with it. <laughs> it's quite a different energy. It's quite a different energy from what that that you have experienced up to now. Because this is like a first step in a new adventure into your soul and she's delighted to want to um, travel this next chapter of your life with her. I hope that makes some sense. <laughs> Lots of love. Bye for now.
<laughs> okay, and this is for Sean and initial initials H M. Okay, hi Sean. This is for you, darling. Okay, Sean, your higher self is saying that um, some of your, some of you need to attend to your gut flora. Okay, so so some of your tummy and your digestive system is starting to feel quite heavy, a bit bloated. So you really need some good probiotics. There's a dietary change that's needed to enable your energy to restore. So your energy is quite dampened at the moment and it's slow and it's a bit, a bit, I hesitate using the word sluggish, but it's, it's a bit like that. And um, your your body is, this is our vessel, you know, it's our vessel for, for, for life. It's our vessel for um, living on a full on life as best we possibly can. And so a few changes, just a few changes um, can really enable you to, to have much more energy. So your body, your higher self is saying, attend to your body, Get your, get your foods that you're eating to be nutritious and really good for you. And within two or three months, this is going to take, because it feels like you're going to do gentle changes bit by bit by bit. Then your energy will come back up and you'll have lots more energy and you'll be up and off. So your uh, first thing the higher self wanted to say is attend to that first. So that's your number one priority. Guys, you just have to gonna go with this. As I mentioned, first on number one, I'm in my old front room at my mum's house because we're we're caring with caring for mum, and we brought our little dog Charlie up. So you might actually hear him joining in to the conversation <laughs> as various uh, people arrive and come and go. Anyway, so um, Sean, that's the first one. I'm just gonna go back in for you. Yeah, okay, so um, a second point after that is, can you start some craft? Um, I'm seeing some young trees, I'm seeing some young green poplar trees, um, and um, as time moves on now during the spring, as they bud and they open and they've got that beautiful light green, dark green uh, leaves, um, it's almost like you're outside drawing them and painting them. Um, so taking the energy of poplar, look up spiritual meaning of poplar trees, see if there's anything in there that resonates for you. There's some message from the poplar trees that you need to um, take on board. And um, your soul is desperate for you to pick up something that's like crafts, something that's creation based. So I know a lot of time we go, oh, we haven't got time for all that, but actually make some time if you can for that because it sort of leads you down a pathway of opening your mind to other possibilities of entrepreneurship, of um, setting your store in life. And all of these massive, massive, huge benefits <laughs> are from you actually taking some sort of craft up and, and doing it in a way that pleases you and gives you pleasure. That will also help to raise your vibes and raise your energy. Okay, darling, lots of love. So that's it for today, guys. Um, I will be back soon with another another group of people. Um, I am limiting this now to seven. This is number five. And, um, well, don't hold me to that. I'll see if I can do as many as I can. Um, but uh, seven's feeling right at the moment. Okay, my loves, lots of love. Bye for now.